So the first card is making a decision. So you've got the Mars sitting in Gemini over here. So some kind of big decision that you have to make. And you have to be very strategic about it. You can see there's a chessboard over here. You're trying to get through some kind of barrier and obstacle. There's a little doorway over here. So there's a big decision that you have to make to get yourself unstuck from a particular situation. And you have to be very strategic in how you're doing it. So make sure your planning moves ahead before you make that particular decision. You're dealing with a lot of drama at the moment. You've got the Mercury sitting in Leo over here. So, you know, you might be de de dealing with a lot of deceptive people and a lot of people causing uh, grief for you. So aggressive people as well. And, uh, you know, you have to make some kind of decision based on that. It looks like you need to take some kind of risk and it's to do with the work situation. So it's maybe some kind of new job presenting itself to you. And, you know, by taking that risk, this is going to open. This is the key that opens uh, the doorway to money or abundance coming in for you. So some kind of risky uh, decision that you have to make to get away from the drama. And you also have to make this decision and you have to be very, very strategic while you're making this decision. Now, in the past, you've got, you know, a versatility over here. So seeing things from a different point of view, uh, looking at the situation, you know, uh, a lot of clarity coming as well. And you've been using, uh, you know, a, a lot of um, brilliant ideas and doing your things and you know, doing it from a very different perspective. Uh, a different way, not following the crowd, in other words. So you had convention over here. So um, it looks like, you know, people expected you to do everything like how everybody else was doing. And it doesn't seem like you've been going down that route. You've got Venus sitting here in um, Capricorn. Now Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So maybe, you know, you felt that a bit restricted by everybody else and what everybody else was doing. You know, you didn't want to be boxed in. So you've been doing things your own way and doing it, uh, you know, differently from everybody else. Now, going to the future, you've got the seduction card over here. So this is about maybe a new uh, love interest coming in over here. But this is also about expansion. So uh, this is uh, Jupiter here in um, Pisces. Now, Pisces is ruled by Pluto. And Pluto is the planet that puts things to an end. If things are not serving you, uh, you know, Pluto will definitely end it. So, you know, Jupiter wants to expand uh, beyond the horizon. So uh, with uh, Pluto over there, it allows Jupiter to make these big, bold moves. And maybe this is what you're trying to do. And uh, going out of convention, not following the crowd, uh, doing something completely different. This is also a more of a spiritual focus. And it seems like that's where you're going to. Because, uh, you know, Pisces is about spirituality. And Jupiter is ruled by Sagittarius. So maybe you're going on uh, beyond and exploring your uh, religious or your um, your belief system is being, uh, you know, um, you're getting rid of old beliefs and you're bringing in new ideas and uh, innovative ideas as well. You've got the acquisition card of here. So sun in Taurus, so personal wealth coming to you. So you will be able to achieve a lot of money. Uh, so it looks like, you know, things are looking up on the financial front of the year uh, because, you know, uh, Taurus is about personal wealth. The sun lighting up Taurus's personal wealth, the acquisition card, means that abundance is on its way to you. And it looks like, you know, because you're seeing things and you're presenting things from a different point of view, you're going to be reaching a bigger audience. And it looks like, you know, a lot of finance, a lot of money. So it looks like your luck with money is changing. But there's some kind of decision that you have to make in order for you to move out of this. And this is going to be whatever decision you make is going to be the key to unlocking uh, your abundance so some big decision coming in for you uh, and you know you're going to have to be very unconventional in how you approach this decision but also be very strategic so make sure you're very well planned up before you make any big decisions uh, but it looks like it's going to unlock a lot of wealth for you now i'm using the game of thrones tarot um I have done a deck review on this particular deck. I'm going to link that deck review at the end of the video. So have a look. It will be very interesting. And it's always good to look at a deck review after you've actually had a reading from a particular deck. Uh, it makes the deck more interesting. So let's see what this deck has got to say. Okay, so you've got the moon card at the bottom of the deck. So there's some lies and deceit going on around you. Things have not come to light. And, uh, you know, um, there's a lot of confusion. Uh, you know, you might be feeling a bit depressed as well, uh, feeling a bit miserable. Uh, you can see that moon is partially blocked over here. So, you know, um, things are being hidden from you as well. It's slowly being revealed, but not quick enough. 
um, you know, maybe people are, you, you're, you're not getting the communication. You've got a bird over here. So, you know, maybe people are saying things to you, but it's not the, the whole truth. So, um, you know, and uh, this is causing a lot of anxiety on your part. So you are going through a period of maybe feeling a bit depressed, maybe feeling a bit confused and not having all the facts being brought to light. Now, the moon says don't make really big decisions at this particular moment. And if you do, make sure you're considering things very carefully before making big decisions. So what's happening with you? You've got the king of coins over here. So this is you on top. And you've got the Ten of Swords. So it seems like, you know, you've dealt with a very, very difficult situation. You were dealing with very treacherous people. You've got the Traitor card over here, which is the Ten of Swords. And having dealt with that situation, it looks like it has ended and there's no way of resurrecting it or going and remedying it. It's a situation that you have to walk away from. So you've been betrayed on a big uh, in a big way. Maybe you dealt with another earth sign person with the king of coins who was the traitor, the person who, who uh, betrayed you. And, uh, you know, you've had to deal with this particular situation. The king of coins generally represents, you know, the Capricorn part of the um, earth signs. So maybe you've dealt with a person who, uh, who, a fellow earth sign person who was very deceptive and who ended up causing a lot of loss, a lot of lies and deceit, and they were very treacherous and they did betray you in a big way. So in the past, you have the Five of Swords. You can see this person has been very victimized, humiliated, uh, put at center stage over here, and a lot of swords flying around over here. So, you know, a lot of people against you, it doesn't seem like you've gotten any support in that past year. And it seems like there was some kind of legal decision that you had to, uh, you know, legal matters that you had to face as well. With the Page of Swords, is, is the person that you were dealing with was very was a liar, you know, and a, a traitor. And also they had a lot of things to say that were pretty nasty all done behind your back a lot of backstabbing going around and the, the page of swords is somebody that carries a tail somebody that caused a lot of drama uh, somebody who spoke a lot of lies so it seems like that is what you have been dealing with and uh, this person turns turned everybody against you so with their lies and deceit and so this person is probably that traitor with the ten of swords so you've been dealing with a very 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 difficult situation now, what's in your mind is the Empress. So you're trying to sail away from this particular problem and you're trying to make plans for the future. You can see her back is turned to the past and she is making uh, um, you know, plans for the future. Now, the Empress card is ruled by Venus and this is your sign. And you, know, you are trying to get away. You're trying to think outside of the box and you're trying to move away from that particular situation in this uh, thing you can see you know the the empress has got her moon her, her back to the moon so you're trying to get over this depression you're trying to bring your mind around you're trying to get uh, through the situation and you're trying to move to the future so what's happening you're going to have um you know a victory there's a celebration of some sort coming up for you the three of cups looks like there is support coming in for you and this is toasting a uh, victory um, you know, toasting new friendships. So something coming in when you're getting together with friends or you're celebrating some kind of event. So there's some kind of victory coming in for you. Now you've got the Ten of Spears. This is what's going on with you. So you're working very, very hard at what you're doing at the moment. You know, it doesn't seem like you've even taken time for a uh, rest or a break. You're building something. You can see in the background this person is building something up. So you are working very, very hard on this particular project or this particular job. And, you know, it's taking it's toll on you know on you because you're you're uh, you're very very you're working very very hard now with the ten of uh, spears or the ten of rods that cycle seems like it's coming to an end but you need to actually take some time out and you need to take a little bit of a break because they, it could have some health implications you get the ten of cups over over here as well so this is like the end of that particular cycle so whatever you're going through it's now whatever emotional problem the cups the ten of cups is about a difficult family situation that you may have been through or a difficult difficult emotional situation and that is now coming to an end so whatever that cycle is it is now coming to closure you got the hangman over here so you are waiting for things to end uh you know you're just uh things usually um you might have to make some kind of sacrifice of some sort but you are waiting for things to come to an end so uh, going into the future and your final outcome you've got the queen of swords the strength and the page of coins so you have been through a lot can you see how many swords there are here in this woman's back so and you've got that ten of swords so it was a very nasty treacherous betrayal that you went through but you have emerged 
from it. So she's still sitting, you know, after going through a lot. It's a very lonely position she is. This is a queen of swords. She's very separated from everybody else and she's keeping her distance. And she is feeling very lonely, but, uh, you know, with all the betrayal that went on, it doesn't seem like she's going to let anybody come close as well. So you are very determined uh, to get your way and you know you are going to get through the situation and you're coming through on top you are emerging from it uh you know with a different perspective and also um you know you are emerging from whatever the situation was um you know with a lot of scars but definitely coming back on top getting your power back as well you've got that strength card so you can see your power is coming back you're very very much uh you know protecting yourself this woman is uh fully in armor and she's got the sword in her hand so you've got that sword of truth in your hand you are speaking your truth and you're willing to do battle with anybody who comes against you so both these cards are showing victory and a lot of strength of character has been built from whatever you came through and you're not allowing anybody to walk all over you anymore and it looks like there's a page of coins there so some kind of new offer is going to be coming your way it might appear small at first but it is some kind of new some kind of offer that is going to come that's going to change the course of events so some kind of offer coming in for you uh, that brings in new money so getting over a very difficult treacherous situation having gone through a lot but you are coming you know emerging from it you are recovering from it and you have uh you know your strength of character has grown quite a bit uh so you're not going to let anybody walk over you and you are you know you are not you're going to deal with people uh that get in your way you're not allowing anybody to get in your way and there looks like there's some cycles closing so you've got that 10 of spears even though you're very, working very hard you are building things up and you're going to see rewards coming in from that and you're getting over that emotional problems that you went through so this is the oracle read and it says uh you've got the princess of autumn over here so this is that you know just like the page of um it's the same as the page of coins and it says a wonderful opportunity related to work or education such as a promotion or scholarship is coming your way. Seize the chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. So there could be further study for you and there's this new opportunity coming in for you here in both these cards and it seems like it's going to push you forward in a very, very positive direction. You've got the um, eight of autumn over here which says it's a perfect time to learn all that you can by returning to school or taking on a seminar or conducting research do your best work and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement so it looks like you know whatever you're doing now you're going to have to do a lot of research a lot of learning but it looks like it's going to have a lot of rewards as well and makes you an expert it also un you know you can see this cage door is open so it's going to free you from whatever situation you are bound in at this particular moment so it's going to open a lot of doors for you and the lover's card is about choice and this is true and long lasting love finds its way to you follow your heart with caring actions and choices so this could be a love relationship coming in but it uh, most likely points to a, a choice that you have to make about what to do next in your career path because everything seems to be about money and the focus seems to be about work and career and you know you getting over it and getting your independence back and there's some important decision that you will have to make regarding your career and regarding your work as well but it looks like you know further learning you're becoming an expert at what you do and you're going to get over uh this these problems and it looks like there's some kind of offer coming in that's going to generate what you need uh, financially so you're getting uh, you're closing a cycle and you're now focusing on yourself and looking to the future and making plans to move forward and it looks like you're looking towards a future of abundance it looks like there is some kind of celebration coming through for you with that three of cups and there might be some emotional support coming in for you so maybe you're going to be making some really good friends try not to get stuck in that energy of the moon of confusion and depression uh, you know get yourself out of that um you know with, below it is the four of swords and this is talking about recovery. So you need to take some time off, get a little bit of a rest, maybe take a little bit of a holiday, take a little bit of a, a mental break from the situation, stand back, uh, do something that you enjoy, something different, and get yourself out of feeling negative. So I hope that this uh, reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.